all right so this um this time we're gonna do some weathering uh, i just got done painting it um so i'm just gonna take a little bit of water my paintbrush and i might just actually i'll just do bada bam bada boom just add a drop of water did it even go in that i'm gonna i don't even know if it came out oh crap Pardon me, I gotta, oh crap. It's just a little bit of water, I can literally clean that up. Okay, give me one second. Boom. Don't worry, it'll, it'll wash. All right, now I'll go ahead and do a little bit more, just mixing and stuff. I forgot to get a paper towel. Crap. And I'm going to pour some of this in the water. Alright. I'm going to go get a paper towel so I can weather it. Sorry for the wait, guys. Um, yeah, I got a paper towel now. I'm gonna just draw out more. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and start washing. All right, so I'm gonna go take that. I'm gonna start with the front. This might take two videos. So this is also how to weather, I guess water down paper towels and or water down pay not paper towels and use a like something to dab it with yeah. oh yeah um i gotta do the eye real quick i forgot um i, d I was supposed to do that in between videos Wear paint. Hold on. All right, there we go. The eye is about right here. Well, that was easy. All right, so now I, I got the eye done. Um, I'm going to go back to weathering. So... Yeah, but this is a really good technique to get it weathered. Um, I am going to do a little bit of gray, too, after I'm finished with black. Yeah, but see, I just got like, dab a little bit. And it should start looking th like this. good though all right i'm gonna go ahead and do a little on the face i did too much on my face oh crap i gotta use the blue toothpick again don't tell me it's dry it dried well, I'll, be. I'll do it in, after this video. You could also like rub it in a little bit. It, that also works. Texture the paper towel. But basically, you can just keep weathering. And I'm going to do some more of this off camera because I ain't going to spend 30 minutes making a YouTube video and waiting an hour for it to lo upload. Also, make sure to do the sides of the, like, the inside um, of them. I even do that on my LEGO custom figures.
Yeah, but it's looking kind of decent so far. It's probably better. I, I do better weathering than I do, like, painting actual figures. Because it's really easy. All you do is just water down paint and just, like, dab it on something. And then just, <laughs> um, just, like, basically, um, dab it away. I don't know why it took me forever to see. And I'm going to do this side now. Alright. I'm doing the gold a little bit dirtier, and I'm doing the red less dirty because uh, it shows up less on the red. So, I can't really help that. I'm putting it... I'm putting more on the yellow because the yellow looks a lot better. I mean, I put more scratches on the yellow anyways. Alright, so I'm going to turn that back over. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other leg and then I'll do the arm. Now this part is gonna none of this uh, figure is gonna be left clean at all. Sorry, that's my grandmother in the background. Uh, whatever she's watching. I don't really, I'm not really watching the camera right now, so I don't really know if it's an angle. I'm glad she, my grandmother turned it off before something bad had just said. Alright, so the legs look to be done. I'm going to do the feet now. Or this foot. Yeah, I got the back, didn't I? Yeah. I thought I couldn't just... I literally forgot for a second that I just did the back. Like, that was the last part of the foot leg I did. So the legs seem to look pretty good. I'm gonna go back over the torso one more time real quick. Because the torso doesn't look pretty enough. All right, I'm gonna do the back torso now and the arms and the helmet last. I've already done part of the helmet, but. Maybe I shouldn't like wash it down. I should just do it like this. That looks pretty good. See how clean this is, and then just go. It's just of cleanness. All right, I'm gonna like, just like. Okay, so it's in the crevices now. All right, it's like in every nook and cranny for the torso. All right, let's get to the fun part of the arms. You might be saying, aren't you weathering enough too much? No, there's never enough weathering. There's never too much, there's not never enough weathering. Weathering is good. It makes, if you're trash at making things, if you weather, if you make it have a weathered effect, it looks good because my Captain Rex was trash, but the weathering effect made it look good. So, ha. Never too. Most of my customs are just weathered down clone figures. 
like a uh, squad, uh, whatever. Bomb squad. My bomb squad customs. I have not showed those yet, but they are coming soon. Alright, I'm just removing this from the face a little bit. It was like weathering that went around the face, so I'm gonna do the mask one little bit. I'm gonna do a tiny bit over here. This video is 11 minutes. I don't care. I'll do the rest off camera. Alright. And it looks like we are almost done. Let me just get under the arms real quick. Do some more work to our oh, crap. I forgot the shorts. I'll do that in a second. 